Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan here and welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving yesterday and I wanted to say sorry for this being kind of late. I actually forgot it was Friday because I've been looking at all kind of like Black Friday sales and stuff. So yeah, sorry about it being so late, but hopping right into it, we have this first outfit from Chris and this one is Snowpiercer. It's actually based off of a movie. And by the way, this movie that it's based off of that's called Snowpiercer, it's actually really good. So I'd recommend it if you haven't seen it. But uh, as usual, at the end, you'll see a picture from the movie and you can see how it compares. But to make it start with a black untucked shirt with a black wool coat over it, standard body armor and a peach plaid woolen scarf. And then for the bottom, black cargo pants and black scruffy boots. For the head, go with the black winter hat, the beanie. And then to top it all off, put a scruffy beard on. I went with like a black beard because as you're going to see here in the picture, it looks fairly similar to Chris Evans in the movie. And even if you haven't seen the movie, I definitely still think this is a cool outfit just because it, it has that like badass effect, you know? And I feel like with three of the outfits in this episode, they're, they're sort of like apocalyptic feeling outfits for some reason. So that is the first one. The next one we have, this one is my favorite by far. Like this is one of the coolest outfits. Uh, that I think I've done in a while, and I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks so cool. And this one is from The A-Teach, and it's called The Apocalypse Survivor. So to make this one, put a black combat parachute bag on with standard body armor and a black tank top. For the bottom, go with black battle pants and black scruffy boots. And then he has a few optional tattoos you can put. The ones I went with were the floral symmetry, I think, and the dragons for my arms. And to top it all off, Go ahead and put on the black slasher mask. And when it comes together, I just think it looks so cool because, I don't know, you just look like an evil crazy person that, like the name suggests, is an apocalypse survivor. So if you wanted something like that and it's fairly simple to do, then you can choose that one. Like I said, that's definitely one of my favorites. The next outfit we have is, again, from Chris. So I want to say thank you, Chris, for submitting these. Um, but this one is the Resistance Leader. And to make this one, put a black trench coat with a black parachute and charcoal wool gloves. For the bottom, Tupe cargo pants with black tactical boots. And then for the head, go with the white gun range glasses with the black bulletproof helmet and the LCD earpiece and then the black plaid woolen scarf. Again, this one sort of has that post-apocalyptic sort of vibe to it. And obviously I like the name, like the resistance leader that kind of fits it. And it's a little bit different than some of the outfits that we've done in the past. So that's why um, I wanted to show it to you guys. So if you guys just want a cool outfit that's not really based off of anything, then there you go. And then finally, this last outfit, again from Chris, this one is not really apocalyptic themed, but it is a pretty cool outfit and it's called the Green Hornet. I don't actually know if this one is based off of like the movie outfit, but nonetheless, it still looks pretty cool. So to make this one, start with a green overcoat with a white tucked shirt, the black skinny tie, and then black leather gloves. For the bottom, go with black scruffy pants, suit pants, um, and then green slip-ons. And then for the head, go with the green fedora and the Hawaiian snow black sports glasses. And when it's all said and done, the one thing I like about this outfit is that the greens actually match, which is kind of rare for... GTA outfits a lot of the colors never seem to match and this uh, th this outfit does a good job of matching Which is always awesome, but again, you know, it's just a cool outfit if your favorite colors maybe green You have a lot of green cars or something uh, you might want to use this because I, I definitely think it looks pretty sweet So that is it with this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Drop a like subscribe all that stuff if you haven't already again Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and if you do have an outfit you want to submit for next week's episode, just let me know in the comment section. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.